My name is Brian Paul. I'm a partner in the Employment and Labor Group at Michael Best and Friedrich. Uh, we're a full service law firm. We have offices throughout the nation and we do everything from labor and employment work to intellectual property to litigation and then transactional work. There are a number of challenges. I think one of the greatest challenges of what I do, uh, labor and employment law, I do both litigation and counseling. On the litigation side, on a daily basis, there's opposing counsel whose job is to make me fail. Uh, so if you think about it in terms of there are you know, anywhere from 12 to 25 people on a daily basis who are aiming and actively working to make me fail. Uh, and that's a challenge. That's a, that's a challenge that I love. And it's what drives me to do this job. And, and it drives, I played uh, competitive sports uh, through high school and a little bit in college. And to replicate that in the professional world, this is the closest thing that I found. I think one of the challenges that I'm excited about going forward is mentoring and developing a team underneath me, uh, bringing in talent. Uh, in a law firm, your most precious asset is the people that work there, the talent they have, the ingenuity they have, the creativity they have. Uh, and creating that team and bringing that team together and getting them to, to take the runway that you lead them to and getting them to excel beyond where they think they can excel is a really a rewarding experience. So one of the things that I've found lately that, that I truly enjoy is when someone I've worked with for five, six, eight, ten years has reached the next level in their career. And to watch them be able to do that has been terribly rewarding and is a challenge that I set for myself going forward. Uh, I would start off by saying a very simple truth. Practice the law is hard. And you, you, there are more lawyers out there who no longer practice law than there are lawyers practicing law. So. As a law student, I think the key to success is really two things. You have to find an area of the practice of law that challenges you and that you can be passionate about. Uh, so if you're trying to pick something because you think it's lucrative, it's going to make the most money, or it's the place that's in demand, that's not going to be long-term success for you as a law student. Uh, if you can pick a place that you care about and something that intrigues you on a day-to-day -day basis, you'll be successful. So for example, I work with a lot of wonderful tax lawyers. They get really excited about the tax code. If I had to deal with the tax code on a day-to-day -day basis, I'd probably slam my head through a wall. Uh, I suspect they would say the same thing about employment law. We're each successful in our own areas and it's because we're passionate about those and I couldn't do another area as well as I do this one. I enjoy the most about my job, I think first and foremost, the people I work with. Uh, to have a place where you come to work every day and you're excited about it isn't possible unless you like the people you work with. Uh, and you have the, one of the keys to that is we create a culture of collegiality and teamwork uh, so that when we solve problems, when we solve client problems, when we solve litigation problems, it's not one person doing it. It's a team that does it. Uh, and we each celebrate our own our successes as a team and we try to move forward as a team. And so that's that's one of the things I enjoy the most about what I do. A second item that I enjoy the most is working with my clients who use me as a trusted business advisor. Uh, certainly many lawyers see themselves as a lawyer. I don't see myself as a lawyer. I see myself as your strategic business advisor who's going to help you make the best business decisions in a legal context. And when I can do that with a client and when I can feel like I've helped a client move forward on a business basis, that's a really great day for me. Yeah, I think the number one example that I try to set is mistakes are okay. Failures are okay. It's really how you respond to them. And it's not a, you know, there are some life or death uh, issues that we have to deal with in, in the legal world, but there aren't a lot. And you can make a mistake and you have to be able to recover from it. Uh, so that's the number one tone I try to set within my team. And the reason I try to set that tone is what you really value in people on your team is their willingness to offer ideas their willingness to think outside the box, their willingness to be creative. And a team that's afraid of failure and a team that's afraid of punishment or yelling isn't going to be a team that does those things. So if you want a high functioning team that's gonna take initiative, offer creative ideas and execute, you can't make them afraid of failure. You have to embrace that and tell them that it's okay.